All right, Dad. How are you guys? I'm all right. I can't speak for everybody. <laughs> all right, let's go. Let's do it. Robert, Trace, if you want to start first, go ahead. I'll jump in after you guys. Um, I'll go ahead then. Um, Gerald, I know uh, I might be a little repetitive asking you about the long break. I'm sure you've been asked about it a lot, but really how mentally draining is it for, uh, I mean, the players especially and just the program to experience something like that? I think it's really mentally draining. I mean, it's, you know, and – uh, there's just, there's been a lot that has gone on since the last time we played that I think adds to that, you know, that a lot of people, you know, like we talked about before, you know, there was a time where we thought we were still going to play maybe even New Mexico and then we weren't. And then we thought we had another game maybe, and then we didn't. And then we thought we had another game and we didn't. So I think all that stuff, you know, really has a tendency to, you know, you kind of get yourself excited and then you, you have the letdown and, you know, um, you know, to their, to our, you know, to, to uh, women's credit, you know, when we've practiced, they've come, they've put in their, uh, a good effort in practice. Uh, you know, we've cut practice times way down just, you know, just because I think more, uh, from the mental aspect, you know, um, yesterday was probably the longest one we've had in a while. And it was as, probably only an hour and 40 minutes, you know, but, and that includes stretching and everything. So, um, you know, yeah, it's, it's been a little, I think, uh, mentally tough on, on, on them, but you know, it, it is what it is this year. I hate to say it. I mean, that's just kind of a cop out sometimes to say it is what it is, but really this year it is what it is. You have to deal with it and you're, you know, you're going to have to get yourself, uh, if you're not mentally ready, you're going to have to get yourself mentally ready by Sunday at four 30. Coach, with losing that game to Pueblo, like how frustrating was it in that moment? <laughs> it was so frustrating. I can't even begin to tell you because, you know, it's just like I just said, we went, yeah, we got a game. No, we don't have a game with obviously with New Mexico. Yeah, we got a game. And you, we literally uh, on, on game day, you know, if you, you know what I'm saying, I mean, you're literally showing up, um, um, game day getting ready thought we're going you know everybody's you know and then especially for the seniors i gotta say because you know we're we're going we're having senior night now your parents can get there's this was a bunch of things that happened and then when we met with when we met with the players and told them the game for sure was canceled you know you could just see it 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 drained it the it just drained the look of their face was just like um you know, it, it, it's like you thought you were getting a new car for your 16th birthday and you got a bike. That's kind of what that's kind of what the look was like, you know. But like I said, you know, they um, let that get past them. We we practiced that day, uh, you know, and then we had some days off. So, um, you know, like I said, it, 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 it's it's been an up and down thing. But now it's 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 time to regroup and, and be more of an up thing, if you want to say. One of the things with you, you're saying about not being able to honor the seniors. I mean, was that kind of like a, a really emotional thing for you? Yeah, I, you know, I think that they, I, I, you know, I think that that's something that, you know, has gone on here. And I know this COVID stuff has also done the same thing. You know, we've done some, we've done some, uh, you know, a lot. I think uh, I, I give a lot of credit to, uh, you know, the, the people here at the university. They've done a great job with uh, social media senior stuff and, you know, done a lot of things that way, but, you know, it's, it's still not, you know, it's, it's not you know, being there with your family and friends and, you know, we get a good fan base and they're all very appreciative of the effort our kids have given over the years. But, you know, I know, I know that's the same is true with graduation. You know, you're gonna, you know, my son's going to graduate this year with his uh, farm doc and, you know, it's, it's going to be virtual. I mean, and that's just, that, that's some things that have just happened this year and, uh, you know, things that you have to do. And yeah, I feel bad that, you know, they didn't get the opportunity to, to finish their last game in, you know, as a game with the, with people around. But like I said, we've, I really, I uh, think uh, the social media staff has done a really, really great job of putting stuff together for them and, and getting it out and, uh, you know, getting, getting some feedback. So, 
yeah, you know, that, that's, uh, that's just one of those unfortunate things. How should, do the women not have the same opportunity the men do of coming back, of not losing a year of eligibility for this yeah. year? Yeah, they will, but our kids are moving on. They're, they've got careers um, to do, and so that's, that's a choice that's been, and that's, that's what's going to happen. Coach, we talk a lot about the the mental drain on it, but yeah, you know, having all this time off, getting physically right. Do you feel physically healthier than you've been all season? You know, uh, yes. I, you know, uh, especially with Diney. Diney, Diney was in a stretch where she was getting beat up pretty good. Uh, you know, she uh, had a, had a sore back there for the last uh, the last time we played actually even and and then right after that she was battling kind of a sore back and you know it, it was just getting to those things where you were getting those bumps and bruises that you just get at that time so as far as all that goes yeah we're you know uh Diney's back's good again and uh you know she's she's feeling healthy and a lot of the just a lot of the you know soreness in joints and stuff Megan's done a great job our trainer of you know, getting all that recouped and rehabbed. And so I think that way we're good. What, what I don't know, what you never know, and, you know, and you hear this all the time and people, you don't understand it till you play the sport. And I'm, I'm sure it's the same with any sport. I, I don't know what kind of physical shape we're in. I mean, I, 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 you know, we, we go up and down, but it's, it's not the same as a game. And, you know, you hear, you hear players talk about all the time and I would agree with that. You know, because even even back in the dark ages when I played, you could go out and run all summer. You know, you could do whatever you wanted to do to get yourself in shape. And theoretically, you might be in great physical shape. But until you start going up and down in your sport, you know, you don't you it's just a different kind of shape. And that's that's to be honest with you, where I'm not sure where we're at. I, I, I know, uh, you know, I know I know we'll play hard. They're playing hard in practice. But, you know, with the emotions of a game, with, uh, with with your adrenaline going, with everything going, you have to also be able to, you know, get through that and get your feet back under you. So that'll, that'll be an interesting thing to see where we're at physically. Coach, will that cause you to use substitutions maybe more frequently than normal just to we're try just, to keep everybody? Trace, we're just going to play how we've been playing. You know, I'm, I'm going into the game just like if we've, been playing all along and we'll follow the same substitute pattern we've been in the last six games because I thought those I, I thought you know I thought all year we talked about finding out who we were and where we were at and I really thought the prior six games that we played I thought we played really well all six games I mean you know you like I said you go at go to CSU and you're right there at both games at the end uh, I thought they were playing really, really well at the time. I mean, uh, obviously, we were starting to score some points, feeling comfortable. We had a good rotation coming off, uh, coming off the bench. Um, so th th that's what we'll do. We'll do the same. We'll do the same thing that we've done. Um, may maybe somebody might have to do something a little bit different. But, you know, you can't all of a sudden go into go into tournament, which is win or go home and have somebody who maybe hasn't been put in that situation, put all that, that pressure and weight on them to say, Hey, I, I need you to perform now. You know, those opportunities might happen, but we just have to see, see how the game goes. How much credit do you give to your uh, program, your players, everybody involved in keeping you guys safe pretty much for the whole season. There were no cancellations, no postpone postponements that came because of you guys. How much credit do you give everybody for that? I give everybody just a huge amount of credit, Robert. I'm glad you brought that up because, you know, that, that that's just been, I think that's one of the things that just, when you guys ask about the mental aspect of everything, I can't explain to everybody how much that mentally wears on, on our women. I mean, you know, because we're, we're asking, we're asking, uh, I, I'm, I, I'm going to say, just think back to yourselves, you know, how, how, hard, how hard it is to be 18 or 19 years old, being so excited to go away to college and, 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 and experience that college experience and then go when you get there, uh, I'm going to kind of ask you to stay locked down for most of it. Um, you know, try, try, to avoid a, try to avoid as many public situations as you can. You're basically, if you have, if you're fortunate to have a class, an actual class, 
you know, we're asking you to go to class and then either go back to your apartment or your dorm room and eat another box meal. Okay. I mean, that's, that's really, really tough. And for our women to have, have done that, actually do it. And as you say, go through, uh, I think our medical staff has done a really great job. That includes Megan, 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 uh, we always tell them Megan's their mom away from home. She, you know, she's on them, you know, reminding them, Hey, you guys got get your masks on. You got to do this. You got to do that. Uh, you know, and you just, you know, you have to make some sacrifices and they've done it. Uh, you know, and we've, knock on wood, have stayed healthy. Now my, we've got, uh, we tested yesterday. We've got one more test tomorrow morning before we go. And you guys talk about what wears on me and makes my shiny head go right here. It's been these tests because, you know, if we, if we pop positive now, you know, whatever reason, then our season is, is done. And then to me, that's just, that, that, that would be just a shame. And so, um, all of them came back good yesterday. So I'm just holding my breath for one more, actually two more, because we'll test tomorrow and then we'll test again Sunday morning before we play. So hoping all those come back and, and we get a chance to get back on the court. But, you know, Robert, that's a good point. I mean, we've, our kids, our, our players have done a great job. Our staff has done a great job and our medical staff has done a great job, you know, kind of keeping everybody, keeping everybody safe during this period. Coach, that kind of carries over to the whole department, doesn't it? I mean, the yeah, that's what I say. I mean, it, it, yeah, it's everybody. I mean, you talk, you talk up here, you know, and you see people. People are very, 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 very aware of, you know, wearing masks and you know, washing their hands. You know, they got the the, the sanitizers out all over, and you know, I, I just think uh, it's kind of become a second nature up here, and. Like you said, you see that throughout all the sports. You see it throughout everybody that's here. You know, you see administrators walking through with their masks on, and everybody's aware of it. And and I think that that's what that's what's helped keep us all healthy. Coach, you kind of touched on it before, but I mean, like, what is it now? Like with losing the Pueblo game, are you filled with more excitement or trepidation at the game's actually going to happen? I, I, you know what. That's a great question. I, I, I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know what I have. I don't know what I am. I'll be honest with you. I, I don't know. I hope the players are excited now that they, you know, the game is literally in sight. If you want to say that, I mean, we're down to a, a practice today, a quick practice tomorrow before we leave, you know, so you can look at it like that and go, you know, Hey, it's an exciting time because you actually see the end, you know, and, and, and hopefully they're, they're ready and excited to, to get back on the court and play uh, for me right now, like you said, probably Sean, I'm a little bit, I, I, I'm just kind of, I guess, prepping like I normally prep. And I'm, I'm the kind of guy that plans for the worst and hopes for the best. So I'm kind of getting myself in the thing that if, if something comes up positive, what are we going to do to spin it around to go, Hey, you know, great year. Let's do something. Let's, or, or, you know, then if you go and play, you're ready, you know, you got everything in place and you go and play. And then when it actually happens, you're, you're into game mode, but I hope our kids are excited. You know, I, we all, we all want to get back on the court. We don't want to, you know, uh, have it in the way it ended. You want, you want to be able to play, play it out instead of, you know, kind of have it, I think, taken away from you and, uh, you know, not, not having a chance to play. So, yeah. Was there, a, again, going back to something you said a little bit earlier, but you felt like those last six games that you're really kind of starting to find an offensive rhythm and flow. Is there any sense of like frustration that this long break has kind of screwed all that up and you have to reset? Yeah, you know, we, I don't know what's going to happen. Like I said, you know, I mean, I mean, I don't know how much basketball you guys, you know, watch and outside of, you know, what you have to is doing your job. But, you know, I, I remember just uh, the other night watching Baylor's man come back after their long layoff, their first game. And, you know, they're one of the top uh, leading three point shooter shooting teams in the country. I mean, in the country and they struggled when they first came back. I mean, they, you know, it, it, it's just, it's, it's just, a, it's different again. You don't understand, you know, it's, it's hard if you have a played, you know, people, people can be great horse players, you know, and then when you got to go out and shoot, you know, with, with movement or somebody coming at you, it just, it's just different. And you go, well, you're doing that every day in practice. Yeah, you are, but you're also not keeping, keeping score every day in practice and knowing that this shot might be, you know, 
something, you know, make or break you, or this game is make you break you, you're coming back to practice tomorrow. So there's a lot of other things that go into getting into the rhythm of games. And once again, feeling how com comfortable you are at that point and, and, you know, where you're shooting from, how you're shoot, how you're shooting, how you're scoring, um, you know, it's going to be really, really interesting. And you're right. You guys start out. I've had a lot of people ask me, I mean, a lot of people. So what do you think it's going to be like? What are you guys going to be like? I, I, I don't know. What I do know is I know we will play extremely hard. They've done that all year. You know, when you look, when you look, uh, look at us, I, I, I can't, you know, I can't fault our kids at all. Uh, I think every game they've given everything they've had. I mean, I think, I think in the league, uh, you'd have, you guys can look back. You, you don't have nothing to do. You guys, you guys can look back. I think we, uh, I think every loss in the league, I think has been in single digits. I don't think we've lost by double digits in the league. The problem is we weren't able to win on the road consistent. You know, we were seven and one at home and one and seven on the road, but we were in every game, you know, on the road. Uh, and, and, you know, so, we just we we uh, we just have to find a way to go. You know what? We just got to carry over, and we got to we got to we got to play, which is going to be tough to do the way we were playing before this layoff. Uh, if we can do that, or if we can just play play hard like we have, find some shots. Then if we can get that first one under us, then I think the next one becomes just a little bit mentally a little bit easier to take. Yeah, you, you were single digits in, in every game you lost in the conference. Um, yeah. I just looked at. But the other thing is, usually you don't like to have that first round that first round game. But given your situation, can that first round game actually be yeah. a benefit? We, you're not we, we need, one of the top. Yeah, we need the first round game. We, yeah, we need the first round game because be, ha, having not played for, for so long, you don't you definitely don't need to show up and go, hey, let's – Let's let, let's go try to take on, uh, you know, teams that have been, you know, playing right up to the end or, or you know, maybe played late last week at the latest. Um, you know, we 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 need we need to we need to play the first round game. And, you know, like I said, just kind of kind of see if we can get our get our game legs back underneath of us and, and see what happens, uh, because, yeah, you just I don't think you want to uh, have one more day of not playing. Uh, and then and then go, hey, let's go down and play possibly could be possible could have been possibly UNLV at UNLV or could have been New Mexico who's playing really well right now. So yeah, we need to we need to get a game in. So coach, what do you want to see from the team from an execution standpoint? I just want to see us do what we've been doing. You know, I, I obviously I, I like I said, I think we'll play well defensively. That's just who we are. Uh, I think they'll play extremely hard. Uh, you know, uh, we, you know, it's not going to be a surprise. We, we, we think we know what Utah State's going to do to us. I mean, they're, that, you know, by this time you are who you are. If you, you've been playing all along, we'll see, we'll see them. They'll, you know, last times they played us, they tried to, you know, man us without switching. They tried a little bit of switching here and there. Uh, tried a little bit of zone, tried a little bit of press, and that's kind of what they've done all year. So what we need to do is we uh, – that's what we're prepping for, just like we did when we played them the first time. And, you know, what it boils down to is you go, well, what's the difference? Well, the first game we hit some shots at key times and then we we got some easy baskets and we're able to pull away in the second half. And in the second game we just shot lights out. And, you know, and – Obviously, those games were at home, so now we're at a, at a neutral facility. So we're just, you know, you're going to still have to make baskets. And uh, but I think we'll, I think we'll defend once again. We'll uh, uh, hope, hopefully, hopefully we can, uh, you know, hope. You know, I'm going to say shoot the ball well from the three um, and uh, see if we can get one. That's all I got for you, Coach. Okay. Thanks, Coach. Good luck. All Good right. Job. Thanks, guys. All right. Thank you all. Stay safe. Same Thank to you. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Kevin. Yep. Thanks, thanks Kevin. <laughs>